Anybody know what this is? All oh, right. Yeah, we don't use them to tune instruments anymore, right? Back for a long time. Digital tuners are much better. But this still has, there's some interesting stuff going on here. So let me strike it with a striker. Uh, I can hardly hear that. Can you guys, maybe, can you hear it? So how do we make it louder? Yeah, uh, there's another way, the microphone. We're not going to do that. I have the microphone there. Oh, well, it'll go to the oscilloscope, huh? Yeah, that's it. Oh, is it working? <laughs> it's working. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, so what happens when I put it in this box here? How, wh why do you hear it so well when you can't hear it when it's like this? I'm looking for one word. Starts with R. <laughs> Resonance. <laughs> Yeah, this box is not just any length. It's, it's a specific link to cause resonance to happen. We're going to talk about resonance a lot more in a minute or maybe 30 seconds. But there's another way you can make a tuning fork give out a louder sound. Can anybody think of it? There's another way, completely different. You get a bigger tuning fork. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, Oh, um, some of these demonstrations are loud, and if they get too loud for you, just put your fingers in your ears. And all you have to do is wiggle. If you wiggle your fingers a little bit, they'll seat really well on your ears. That's an excellent way. I know it looks silly. We would be doing it, but we need to use our hands. We, Andre, sign, okay? So that's the fine, okay? I'm serious. Okay, all right. We're still young. <laughs> Batteries. Oh, God, that is loud. Yeah. <laughs> things, we don't have enough to pass these around. <laughs> so this, the, the time, the, the arms here are, are flexing back and forth, and they generate um, a loud sound. 